And a new pro-life movie opens in theaters Friday. Voiceless portrays a recently discharged soldier, now totally devoted to his faith. He discovers an abortion clinic right across the street from his church. I'm referring to the clinic that's across the street. It's a family planning clinic, right? And they also have about five to 20 abortions a day. And what are we doing? I'll tell you what we're doing, nothing. Is someone addressing the situation? I just told you I'm working on it. Jason Jones is co-executive producer of the new pro-life movie, Voiceless. Give us a snapshot, a quick snapshot of the storyline. Well, this is a powerful, entertaining, and gritty film about a, a, a veteran who comes home and he's an associate pastor, wants to start a boxing club and a youth group when he notices a, an abortion clinic across the street and decides to extend his ministry to praying, but that creates controversy in the church. So his goal is to just pray and his church has to come to grips with that. In a first, this movie premiered on Friday outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Is that where you lost your voice? It is where I lost, <laughs> lost my voice. And, you know, as I was standing <clears throat> on the Supreme Court and my voice was almost completely gone, I thought of something Rene Girard said. When you are in solidarity with the weak, you become weak. And I thought, here I am in solidarity with the voiceless. And I've had the privilege to lose my voice promoting this film. <clears throat> but it is a powerful film produced by an evangelical Christian inspired by the Catholic witness for life. And so we wanted to make a movie that would create a debate in the evangelical church so that they would start pro-life ministries. He wants a pro-life ministry in every church across America because he heard that in a Catholic parish, there's a pro-life ministry in every Catholic parish. And so he was inspired by that. And, you know, with our movie Bella, over a thousand women wrote us letters who were scheduled to have an abortion saw the film and kept their baby. Imagine if a thousand churches who are not engaged in the struggle to protect the child in the womb from the violence of abortion start pro-life ministries. So Bella, little boy, now voiceless, you have really dedicated your life to this issue. Why did you become this pro-life activist that you are? Well, I, I was raised with no religion. And at 17, my high school girlfriend became pregnant. I dropped out of high school to become a father, you know, to, be, to man up, to be a father. But while I was away in basic training, her father forced her to have an abortion. I didn't even know abortion was legal until I found out my child was aborted. It was something I didn't really know about. It was unthinkable to me. And so as a 17-year-old private in the Army, I just committed myself. I want to use my life to tell the truth about the beauty and dignity of the child in the womb. Searching for the source of that beauty led me to the Catholic Church, and that's how I became Catholic. But what led me into the film industry was I think film is the best way to tell the truth. It's the best way. Um, Roger Ebert said that a motion picture is an empathy machine. And so that's our goal. I cannot wait to see Voiceless. I'm sure it's in a lot of theaters this week. It opens on 120 theaters. Bella opened up on 80 and then it went to theaters around the country. So if we have a big opening weekend, we'll be everywhere. So go opening weekend if you can. All right, Jason Jones, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you very much. God bless you.